in the name of God the one and threefold. Merry Christmas. In this holy night, we celebrate the birth of Christ with prayer, feasting, and great merriment. But, most of all, we experience it in our hearts. For, more than just a day, Christmas is a state of mind. It is found throughout the year whenever faith overcomes doubt, hope conquers despair, and love triumphs over hate. It is present when men of any creed bring love and understanding to the hearts of their fellow man. I guess we all have our own favorite Christmas memories, for this is the time of year when most of us try to be better than our everyday selves. More than any gift or toy, ornament or tree, let us resolve that this Christmas shall be, like that first Christmas, a celebration of interior treasures. And let us resolve to share our many blessings with others now and in the year to come. From the hungry or the helpless near at hand to those in trouble or turmoil in distant lands, from Africa to Asia and beyond. Tonight we are drawn in warmth to one another as we reflect upon the deeply holy meaning of the miracle we shall soon celebrate. We know that Mary and Joseph reached the stable in Bethlehem some time after sunset. Suddenly, a star from heaven shining in our eyes. Shining with brilliant beauty across the skies. A star pointing toward eternity in the night. Like a great ring of pure and endless light. And then all was calm, and all was bright. For most of us, the holidays bring back such a trove of memories, evoked by things as simple as the scent of pine, or the painted scene on a greeting card. This is as it should be, for Christmas is a holiday that we celebrate not as individuals, nor as a nation, but as a human family. And not merely as a family living in this age and time, but as a family linked through history, in ways we still cannot fully comprehend, to that first Christmas in Bethlehem. May God bless you. Amen.